What's up YouTube, it's Thomas from the Barberstyle Directory and today I'm gonna to be comparing the Oster Fast Feed to the Wall Legend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list the pros and cons of each clipper. What I like about it, what I dislike about it. And then I'm gonna compare them and tell you which one I like better. So as you know, if you've been watching any of my tutorials, I started off with the Wall Legend. This is my all time favorite clipper. What I really love about this clipper is the versatility. So it has just the right amount of power. Like when I tell you this will not, I don't care what type of hair you have, the motor is not stopping. And this crunch blade, is, it's the perfect combination of whether you're trying to fade or taper. So the pros would have to be, it's powerful and the crunch, but <laughs> the crunch blade is definitely a plus. I don't know if you can see this, but it's wedge shaped and the teeth open up pretty long. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so the cons of this clipper, what I don't like. So the only thing that I don't like about this clipper is whenever you first turn it on, the, the blades have a tendency to kick up. So when you set it, you have to set it kind of at an angle. Even if you're zero gapping them, you have to set one side lower because once you turn that motor on, it's gonna kick and the blade is gonna come up a little bit. So blade shifting occasionally, that's the only thing. Once you set them, you're good to go. Okay, so we have the Oster Fast Feeds. So I know you guys probably have a lot of questions about these. So as you can tell, I switched over to the ceramic blade. And the reason I did this was because I didn't want to have to go through all the trouble of trying to zero gap them. So actually I had this laying around somewhere. I bought it a long time ago and it was just laying around. So I took the standard blade that it came with off and just put this on here. It literally took two seconds. So what I love about the fast feeds, you can get a buttery blend every single time with the fast feeds, depending on the hair type. So to me, this works better with people who have more of a of a softer texture, like a soft, anywhere from a, a soft coarse type to a fine type. It doesn't really matter as long as your hair is just not completely just nappy. <laughs> if you have steel wool on top of your head, this is not the clipper for you. So the pros, it's, it's got a pretty good weight to it. Uh, it's ergonomic, like, like when you're fading, it's really easy for you to, like, it's, it's slanted. I don't know if you can tell. It's really easy for you to, to fade with. And then the uh, the lever opens up a lot. So you can really use the corner of the teeth to blend with this uh, clipper. So what don't I like about the fast feeds? The power is the main issue. That's why I said you, if you have these, don't try to cut anybody with really, really, really nappy hair because it, it'll start lagging. The motor will lag every time. If this fast feed had the power of the wall legend, hands down, it wouldn't even be a competition. The, oh, the, the, another con that I don't like about this clipper, the guards that it comes with. Whenever you open your box of fast feeds, take those black guards that they give you, throw them straight into the trash because that's exactly what they are. They are trash. What you need to get and this double magnetic guards. Now, a while back, you saw me do a video with the single magnetic guards and everybody was like, oh, don't get the single, they're trash. And I didn't really think that they were that bad. That's until I got these. When I tell you there is a huge difference between the double magnetic and the single magnetic. I don't know if you can see this, but look at the thickness. This, th both of these are zero guards. These are both zero guards. This is the single magnetic. See how bulky that looks? I don't know if you can see that. But watch this. Look at the double magnetic. Let me hold them side by side. See the difference in the thickness? Both of these are zero guards, but look how look how thick this one is compared to this one. Okay, so if I had to make a decision, which one would I choose? It's tough, but I think I'm gonna have to go with I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to go with the wild ladies. <laughs> By, by no means am I knocking this clipper. This is a great clipper, but to me, the versatility of the wall is what makes it better than the fast feed. To me, for the bang for your buck, I feel like you'll get more out of this clipper than you would the fast feed. And this mainly because of a power issue. And these are pretty similar price, so this clipper right here is about, you can buy this anywhere from about 55 to $60 on Amazon. And you can find this one for like, I think this is like 55 also but the power 
in this since this over the top. That's just my personal opinion. So you guys comment below what you think. And that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. What's up YouTube, it's Thomas from the Barber Style Directory and today I'm gonna to be comparing the Oster Fast Feed